M0 FXB Uniden SDS100, just a quick one here, updating the software, which in turn should update the firmware. So I'll put the link in here for downloading the software. You've got the SDS100, 200, the 3, 600, a few models here. This is my favorite link. You've even got a waterfall operation manual that I really like. So anyway, just downloaded the software. It's given me a message, check for firmware updates on the database. I'm going to click OK and let it do its thing. I'll now connect the scanner, plug it into my PC. And then what you're going to do is press the E button. Once you get it, the option on screen, press E quickly. Uh, I've got a low battery. Let me just charge that up and then we'll do it. Okay, that worked. Now says USB mass storage, refresh. And effectively it, it links to your SD card in your device. There it is there. And it works identically on the SDS, SDS 100, 200, and I've got the 3, 600. We're going to click OK and we're going to let it do its thing. Let's see if it actually does the firmware as well. It does, see down here it says firmware file. I know there was a couple of little bugs in the waterfall firmware. So and that was, I'm sure I saw this update a couple of months back. I just haven't got around to doing it. Just pause while that loads up. Now remember with these Uniden scanners, you put in the zip code and it would download everything for you. In the in in Europe we have to work a bit harder, but in Canada and the USA yeah, it does everything for you. And really it is a trunk track, it is a trunk scanner. It's designed to do that very well. Multi actually multicast is what I meant. Okay. Right, we're gonna click OK. Then we're gonna read from the scanner. I'm just going to go with this. Let's do the tick. Click OK. So there's all my favorites you can see on the left. If you don't know what favorites are there, they're groups of channels that you've loaded into the scanner. And that's what I mean by the, the zip, code, zip code system. It will just do it all for you, depending on your location in, in the USA ETC. So let's try the update firmware. It might just say that it's up to date. Let's check in the server now. Your PC amount function to amount scanner before continuing. Press and hold the power key to start the update. Let's just read that again. Finished writing update to scanner. Use your PC's unmount function to unmount the scanner before continuing. Press and hold the power key to start updating. Let's do it. So we're going to go right click. Uh, it wants us to find a normal click, then find PC. Let's just find it a minute. PC. I'm going to find it. We're going to do the unmount thing. I will find it. Let's try. Normally I see it. Ah, oh, there it is there. PC. Find it. So we're going to right click the E drive and click eject which we've done and then it said turn off it says leave the cable in and hold down the power which we're doing what's it saying now oh it's doing it <laughs> okay that was quick and it's rebooted and now it's reloading all the favorites when i've look i'll show you what firmware version it says we got but it did update something okay well, i think that went well so now we're going to go menu go to turn backwards the the volume knob to see settings push down on the volume and then go backwards again to see scanner information on the bottom push down firmware version turning to the right down and that's what i'm running and let's see if we can see the, the waterfall. So we'll go back to scan just by pressing the, the flat line. Then we'll go menu, turn backwards till you see waterfall, enter, start waterfall. And we need some activity now. So let's put my node on there, which is four. I do really like the waterfall. The amount of people that said, why did they do that? Like it was a waste of time. I, I will never understand that ever. 
Um, have I done that wrong? So how do I delete? Oh, turned it on and off. There you go. It's got to delete those characters. No, the dot. I thought the dot was delete. Okay, there you go. Four, three, four, dot, five, five, oh, enter. And then just press, oh, there it is there, the water toilet. Let's get the volume up. I mean, look at that. I'm trying to get the glare out. And we've even got my DMR one when that's on the go. And it just works good. I know they've added some features recently and tweaked the waterfall, but I just think it works great. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. And remember, I am learning with you. Please don't, um, you know, if you know more than I know, great. Tell me what that could be. Thank you very much. 7-3. Please hit the like and subscribe.